Adding a DMM6500 or DAQ6510 to an existing scope demo setup is very simple and can be done in just a couple of minutes. Once you have it set up, it can be run indefinitely without any further input. Let's take a look at how this is done. Start by connecting the banana plug connector end of the 1681 test leads to the input terminals. Connect the black lead to the black or low input terminal and the red lead to the red or high input terminal. Now, we are going to connect the clip lead ends of the test leads to the demo board. The signal we want to show on the meter is the UART or UART signal. So we will connect the test leads like so. The red lead to the UART test point and the black lead to the test point labeled ground. Next, we will power up the demo board using the USB-A to USB-B cable. We plug one end into our demo board and the other into the USB port on the front of our scope. Now that the board is powered up, Turn on your Keithley DMM6500 or DAQ6510. Once the meter boots up, make sure the instrument is set to measure on the front terminals by checking the light next to the front rear switch. Switch to front by pressing the switch if it is not already set properly. Change the function to digitize voltage by touching the DigiV key on the lower left of the screen. Swipe to the right twice to get to the graph screen. As you can see, this isn't the signal we are expecting. The UR signal we are looking for should be changing from 0 to 5 volts and have sharp edges. If you see this issue, pressing the reset button on the board should fix it. The properly working demo is shown here. Some things to remind the customers who are viewing the demo are shown on this slide. Main differentiators include one mega sample per second reading speed, higher sensitivity, and a touchscreen user interface. Thanks for watching.